Howdy, hey, hi, Spaceman Josh here, and welcome back to RimWorld. Alright, where we left off, about to get set up with our, uh, uh another, uh, growing area. So we're gonna place the lamp right there. We need power over there. Let's go ahead and bring this down. And then once this gets built, we'll also create a growing zone. And we'll go ahead and place... We wanted heal root. So now we're growing medicine and corn. And now we got three growers too, which is kind of nice. Three people who are, will be growing. Now that you two has joined the club. We're still going with some of our other stuff, which is nice. Our temperature's staying about negative 10, which is always good. I think we'll, what I'll end up doing uh, for uh, when I end up recording again is I'll add the other mods that I have that have temperature and all that other stuff so it makes it a little bit easier to overall just see the, the entire thing as a whole and see what's going on. Look at that. We got all of the all of the things, all the growing. Only thing after this would be to add cloth and then maybe another type of food. I know there's also a way to do trees, but I had issues with the trees before. I don't know if it was just for, for whatever reason, but I may try it, but probably not. We're almost there to research, which is nice. Well, that's a lot of alpacas. Hunt the alpacas. I don't see any more alpacas. We can also check the wildlife thing. A warg. Hmm, interesting. A lot of a lot of dangerous things though. We got four predators on the field. Yeah, we need to place the meat in there. With just under 2,000 uh, corn, let's see. It's just over 2,000 meat. Exotic goods trader from uh, Dinolbum is approaching. Interesting. I think Robert Earn 5 was our best social person. Yes. Let's trade with Kimmy. What do you got? E moves. Interesting. Components. Do we have any components right now? We don't, actually. Interesting. We need components. There's some advanced components, too. Interesting. Uh, Plasteel will need a lot pretty soon. Let's see. Um, let's see. A lot of organs. Interesting. Doomsday rocket launcher? Hmm. A single-use rocket launcher that fires a massive explosive projectile good against large groups of soft targets. Stars fires. Hmm. Got a large structure and a grand structure. Telescope. Ooh. Uh, mega screen television. Intriguing. I don't think I want it just yet, though. I don't need those. Is there anything that I can sell to you? I can sell these packet survival meals because I have a freezer now. And that's really the only thing I can sell to you. You don't want anything else. I'll go ahead and accept that. We'll lose some uh, silver, but that's all part of the deal. So now we get some more components. And we have a telescope. Now I gotta figure out what the telescope is. There it is. We'll just install it. Let's see. Where can we put it outdoors? Let's install it right there. And we'll actually go ahead and. I wonder if we should actually do that and close off that sandbag thing. And then I have our only entrance be over here. 
Well, we're also, our storage is right there for outdoor stuff, so I don't know. I think what I may do is I may build a structure and have it like that so it goes to outdoor, but then it can go like out here or something like that. Also, we probably want to build a couple more graves. Prosthetics. Ooh, we can do more research. Now let's look at doing gunsmithing. Let's take a look at production, see if there's anything worthwhile. Workbench for the production of robotic units. It takes 30 plus steel. Good thing we bought 68 plus steel. I also don't know how to make plus steel. Let's see. Uh, machining table workstation for assembling machinery like guns, ammunition, or breaking down dead mechanoids. Mechanoids. I think I'll hold off for that right on for that right now. Let's take a look at. Actually, we don't have any cloth. Never mind. Because most of the recreation stuff that we can build requires cloth. This requires cloth. Cloth. This requires a short bow. We actually do have that, so maybe we can go ahead and do that. Like that. How far out do you have to be from these ones? Out there. About right here with that. Hmm. What if we had it in this direction? That could work. There. Um, let's see. What was I? I just got told something. I don't even remember what it was. Let's take a look, look at this. Bills. Let's add a bill. Robotic component. Five silver, 20 steel, and two components. But which are used as logic circuits within a robotic matrix. So what happens if we try to do... Where can we build the robots to... Ooh, look, we can do great trading stuff. Structure furniture, nope. Lower ship, nothing in there. Hmm. What does it mean, allowed area? Is it just the areas that the areas are allowed the robots are allowed to go to? Hmm. I don't know how to make robots. I don't. I also don't know how to make robots yet. So maybe that's something we could do. We need a research project. Let's do simple robotics. I think in terms of everything else, though, when we continue onward, I think just continuing the farm a little bit, maybe having more area for uh, colonists to join. I don't know. We still have two more slots. And then we would only want like, maybe one more at most, so that we so that we have still have uh, the chairs for everyone. Other than that, let's see. Good to do this structure. Let's go ahead and maybe start doing that a little bit. Let's do wooden wall. Actually, let's fix this starting off. Let's go into structure. Deconstruct. Let's deconstruct these. And then tell them to build a copy of it. Right there. And then go like that. And like that. We can also shrink. The okay, so it's automatically shrinking it. Good. No, don't do that. Don't do that. What? No, don't. Stop it. 
Stop it. Cancel. Cancel. Now we have to expand this to fix it. I'm going to build a copy. Bring it up like this. And bring it over like that. And then we'll also need to have a thing for the door. <coughs> Let's see. And then maybe we have like a five by five. Not definitely not a five by five. We have like a five by ten. Four, five, a ten. Oh, this is where the uh, wood gets stored. So now let's expand zone. Have one right there. Have this one only allow wood. Let's just scroll up and just press X on. A, let's clear all. And then it would be under raw resources. Wood. And let's look at this one. Raw resources take off wood. Let's see, they can still cross this if they wanted to, but because there's the sandbags, it's a lot harder. Not all the wood would be in one place. It's a good thing I made it a 5x10. There's still that right there, though. Let's see, how much steel do we have in terms of, like, actual blocks? That's another, like, 5x10 in its own. Let's take a look at this. How big is this? That's a six. So then we can probably have it be a six by, let's do a six by nine. And I have another wooden door right there. Expand zone like that. Then storage, take off steel. Then in this one, clear all steel. Allows us to finish that right there. And allows our very... The most abundant resources we have to all be in one place. Which works really well. Yeah. This is our main storage and then we got steel and wood. So let's look at getting some power over here now to since we are under a roof. Hmm. I think I'll go down this way instead, just because that way with this it creates this dynamic where I know I'm not gonna expand really over here because there's the graveyards right here. But it'll allow us to have this area up here. And then furniture, standing lamp. We'll just have you in all corners of the universe. A raid! Why is there a raid? A group of the pirates from the Hammers are up, are, have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack, prepare for a defense, or attack them preemptively. Whoa, okay, how many of you are there? This is a big group.
I think what we'll go ahead and do is structure. Let's close off that way. Rubber and one. I want you to prioritize working on this. Thank you. And then let's see. From here, they'll probably end up attacking from this way. What do I want to do? And they're over there, and there are six of them. Let's go ahead and look at a granite wall. Let's have it be like that. And then I'll also have a wooden wall connecting it right there. I want all hands on deck. Okay, nope, never mind. They're beginning their assault. Everyone selected. Draft. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get us all set up right here. Let's see. And then you, so let's have you right there. We'll have Yuto over here and have five. Nope. Fine. Like that. I'm going to head over here with these people. There's a fire. That's an issue. You kill him anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. Five, you're the one good with social. We're going to capture you. Are any of them still alive? Just the one. And then we're also going to extinguish this fire, please. taken care of. Yeah. Medical emergency. Kyle. I mean, you did get shot a lot. Who's working on doctor? I've earned five as a doctor. Okay. Kyle died. On the bright side, we survived all of that. 
which is a lot better than I thought we were going to do. And we have hit the 20 minute mark of the video. What's this? Psychic Soothe. Every colonist of the male generator smiles with contentment. Cool. Alright, so. This has been an interesting sort of development. We've gotten bigger and stronger, and as a result, we're having tougher, tougher raids, which is interesting. So, so thank you all for watching. If you liked it, go and hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to, you can hit the bell, turn on notifications, let you know right when I upload. Other than that, thank you for traveling with me today. Spaceman Josh, out.